Hi Aries, welcome to your general forecast for the month of February. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Aries, we're going to take a look at the energy around you at this time. It can be about love. It can be general. Just take the energies as they come, however they resonate for you. Please only take what resonates. Throw away the rest. Don't try to make it fit. If you feel, if you feel like it's not resonating for you, it's probably not your reading. I would say hold out for uh, future readings and maybe something will resonate for you there. So let's see what we have for Aries at this time. Um, I do say at this time, I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to watch past readings, your links to your playlists are down below in the description box, Love in general, and also the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading. Um, if you'd like to tip or donate or send a gift, all that information is below. And I will also pin some of that information to the top comment in the comment section. So Aries, so let's see. Welcome everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you're having a great new year. Hope you had happy holidays. So let's see Aries, what's going on with you. This is a Zodiac Oracle. So we could get a sign element or planet. So we'll see what comes out here. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, that is totally fine. This is sort of like a little extra bonus. So let's see what we have. So we have Neptune energy here. And Neptune, I believe, is uh, Pisces. So you could have a Pisces around you, some way, shape, or form. Or um, maybe you have Pisces in your chart. Somebody has Pisces in their chart. Or it could be the energy of Neptune. And Neptune is all about um, imagination, compassion, psychic experiences, uh, balancing energy. So we'll see how that uh, plays out in your reading. So let's see. So with this deck here, and this is for Sun, Moon, Rising. I will say Venus and Jupiter because we don't know if we're going to get love or just general energy. So I will say Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter if you have that um, Aries in any of those placements in your chart. So the first thing I'm going to do here is pull an opening message for you, Aries, at this time. See what's going on with you, Aries. What is going on with Aries at this time, Spirit, please? Thank you so much. Opening message. Oh, that's too many. Too many. Opening message for Aries, please. Thank you so much. Okay. So we have eight of pentacles here. Positive movement forward. So this pentacles is usually about work, career, finance. That's putting in the dedicated effort. Learning, growing, expanding, uh, and making that positive movement forward. So it's a good energy. So let's get, and eights are all about taking action, travel, movement, communication. So let's see, positive movement forward. So let's see. Wow. <laughs> Wowzers. All right, let's take this one for your energy. So we have disruption here, which is 16, which I believe is the tower. So this is a tower moment, and that is your energy. That's Aries energy. So there's some sort of disruption here in your positive movement forward. <laughs> it could be an epiphany. It can be a realization. It can be a surprise. It could be a breakup, shakedown, shake up. I don't know. We'll see. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Accelerated motion. Wow, eight. <laughs> so this is the eight of wands. This is the eight of wands. So two eights here. Wow. And eights is definitely taking action movement forward. Uh, this Because uh, you get two cards here of accelerated, accelerated motion and positive movement forward. So the Eight of Wands, a very fiery, passionate energy uh, moving forward, a lot of passion, drive, ambition, and positive movement forward could be in your career and finance, but some sort of disruption here. So something's disrupting your positive movement forward. So let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on for you, Aries. So just want to say thank you to all my new subscribers, those who have reached out for personal reading, those who have tipped or donated or sent a gift. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate all your support you give me in the channel. I could not do it without any of you. So just a big thank you, thank you, thank you, and my deep appreciation. All right. 
So let's see what's going on. So we're going to look at this energy here with the tarot, and then we'll look at the actual situation, advice for your situation, possible outcome of the situation, and then we'll get some closing messages with that deck over there. So let's see what we have. So we have the Ace of Wands. It's a fiery, passionate new beginning. That's your energy, fire. So you're making positive movement forward in the passionate new beginning. It could be um, an endeavor, a project. It could be a new career, uh, entrepreneurship. It could be something you're very passionate about, excited about. And you're trying like the Dickens here. You're working hard, making that positive movement forward. And you're, you know, being divinely guided here with the star energy here. As you see the star there. But something's disrupting you. So let's see. Let's see. What is this disruption about this new beginning for you? The four of wands. So that is your home, your basis, your foundation, your commitment. You could be in a committed relationship. Um, it, this It's either two things. You're moving forward quickly in a relationship. It's very grounded. I mean, this could be marriage. Or whatever new career, endeavor, project you're embarking on that is very uh, grounding and secure for you, something's disrupting it. So let's see why all this energy. So we got your fire energy here right off the bat. So what is going on here with this disruption for Aries? So we got temperance now. So this is balance. This is balance, though. This is uh, patience, balance, tempering energy. Temperance Angel always brings in what's divinely guided, and the Aces are always divinely guided energy of new beginnings. So this Temperance Angel is trying to bring into you this divinely guided brand new beginning for you. It could either be a new relationship or, a new, like I said, a new project, endeavor, career, entrepreneurship, uh, something of that nature. Queen of Swords. So divine energy now. Wow, so the Queen of King, Queen, Swords, Ace of Swords, although that's the Ace of Wands, but the Ace of Swords and the King of Queen of Swords always, to me, represents divine, universal energy. But the Queen of Swords is also Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, air energy, so that is a very truthful energy. Clear thinking, clarity, communication, cutting away things not serving, uh, standing up, not backing down, telling it like it is. You could have a female here, a Queen of Swords energy around you that is maybe cold, harsh, brash. It's disrupting your plans moving forward. They could be an air sign. I don't know. Let's see. Judgment. So needing to make a final judgment call or a decision about something here. And this judgment is facing this Queen of Swords so let's get one more. What's going on here for Aries? What's going on here for Aries? Six of Wands. So success, victory, that's your energy again. That's a positive movement forward again to success, victory, some kind of offer coming in or extending out and just moving forward victoriously. What is this disruption? The Queen of Swords, most of the time, to me, represents divine energy, like shedding light on a situation. But in this deck, I see this woman sitting here with her sword, and she looks like she's up to no good. So you could have an, a female or male or whatever around you, your sign, somebody that is maybe either up to no good <laughs> or is um, very disruptive in your life, causing you havoc in some way in your positive movement forward either in a new relationship or in your new endeavor career or project whatever it is here and you're needing to make a final de decision a judgment call on this like looking right at this person you know what am i going to do with this person so you're needing to make a judgment call on what to do with this person because they're blocking you as you see like these blocks here they're blocking you from moving forward in some way I think you've had patience with this person, um, with that temperance energy, but I think your patience is running out. All right, so let's get the actual situation here. For you, Aries. 
Yeah. Yeah. So you might just like end this relationship with this, whoever this is in your life, causing this disruption that's blocking you from moving forward. Death here is just ending something like just ending it, terminating it, like no more done over. It's, you know, done, 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 done. No more. <laughs> so you may be just ending. It could be a friendship. It could be a family member. Uh, anybody here. Um, you're just like done, done, done. Ace of Pentacles, yeah, because they're blocking your your prosperous, abundant new beginning here based on a firm foundation. So you have two divinely guided energies of the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands being brought to you by the Temperance Angel who brings you what's divinely guided for you. But you have some sort of energy here that's blocking you that just causes tower moments in your life. And it's blocking you from moving forward to your new beginnings here. All right, so let's see. Let's get a couple more for you, Aries. Six of Cups. Could be a family member, could be a friend, a coworker that you've known for a long time, friend, family member, someone here, Six of Cups, definitely somebody you've known, maybe somebody that you know you find hard to break off from because it cut that toxic tie because. They are a family member or they are somebody you've known for a long time. That's Six of Cups energy. But I think the time has come to sever that tie. Because they just leave you bored, complacent. Every time they make another tower moment, you're like, what is going on now? It's like, you know, I just can't deal with this anymore. Yeah, you intuitively know it's the right thing to do. Even though, you know, it's a close friend, family, whatever here, you totally know the right thing to do is to end this. Because you got death and the high priestess on both ends here. So you know it's time to put an ending to this situation, to this person, and just like terminate them out of your life for good. Because you're tired of them making you feel like this. Every time they act out, act up, whatever they do, whatever they do, how they disrupt your life from, you know, moving forward. It's like you have constant disruptions every time you're making positive movement forward. It's like, here comes another disruption. Here comes another disruption. This person acting out again. So, I mean, whoever it is for you, it could be a child, it could be a family member, it could be, it could be your own parent, it could be anybody, a sibling, just a very close friend. All right, so let's see what your advice is in this situation. They could be very jealous and envious of you. All right, so we have justice. So this is doing what's moral, just, and right for you. Because you had justice right over death to your Ace of Pentacles. So in order to have justice in your life so you can keep making this positive movement forward to the to this beginning is that a divinely guider for you. It's meant for you. It's here. The universe is trying to give it to you. This person keeps blocking, blocking it. It's now time for you to stand up and serve justice to them in and in your life and just totally block them out and end this connection with them. And as I said that the King of Swords, King or Queen, doesn't matter. They take this sword and they use it to cut ties that are no longer serving them. And this justice has a sword also. So, I mean... It's time here to shed truth, clarity, cut away to this toxic tie that is no longer serving you. It's keeping you tied and bound and blocked. As you see, this person is like bound, bound there. It's time to sever this connection. All right. So to be honest, truthful, stand up for yourself. Don't back down. Tell it like it is. Wheel of Fortune, because fake destiny is here, divine timing. Something divinely guided for you is trying to, universe is trying to give it to you. With the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune now. But this person here is uh, blocking it, is preventing this every time they act out. Yeah, the universe is trying to also give you the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, total abundance in every single way. Fortune, um, happy home and family, legacy of your family dynamic. So being abundant and never having to worry. 
you know, the Wheel of Fortune is trying to bring that in for you. So your advice is, if you want the Wheel of Fortune to turn in your direction to get to your Ten of Pentacles, you need to take this sword and sever the tie with this person. Otherwise, they're going to keep you stuck. And they're going to keep bringing these tower moments to you. And you'll, you're will you never going to have this accelerated positive movement forward. Justice needs to be served in this situation, definitely. All right, so let's see what the outcome be here. Five of Swords. Oh, okay, let's get a few more. Seven of Swords. Yee! Five and seven of swords, not a good energy. Let's get one more. And the page of cups. So outcome here, possible outcome, is you taking your swords, turning your back on this person, and just getting out of that situation. Because this person is going to keep on doing what they're doing with the five of swords energy. They don't care. They're going to take the sword, and they're going to keep raising havoc like they always do. You turn your back and then they're up to no good again or they're making another disruption. So your energy here is to take your swords, use them to sever, turn your back, walk away, and don't look back. You may have to say, look, I'm sorry, it's over, it's done, no more. I want you out of my life for good. Sounds harsh, but uh, that's the truth because you see the rainbow here bringing in better luck to you. So I feel once you do this, and you see the page of cups is turning away from all this energy. So I feel like once you turn your back on this energy, sever those ties, get away from this person, say, I'm sorry, but you know, this is how it has to be. Then this rainbow comes in of better luck. The wheel of fortune comes in, your 10 of pentacle comes in, your new beginnings come in, you're able to keep moving forward. And this person is no longer blocking you. Wow. However that resonates for you, it could be, in a relationship, it could be in your career, it could be in a new project. I mean, whatever it is for you, you're trying to make positive movement forward in, but you keep getting held back by this energy. So however this resonates for you. So yeah, two of cups. So coming into, this could be a soulmate union. Someone could be blocking it. It could be a third party situation. I'm not getting many threes here, but however it resonates for you. So somebody could be blocking a soulmate union here or blocking you from your um, divine life purpose what's totally aligned for you, however it resonates for you. Yeah, making conscious decision here to do the right thing. And also, again, soulmate energy here. Page of Pentacles. So there's a solid offer coming in, going out. Maybe you've tried to, um, maybe you tried to stabilize things with this person. It just doesn't work. You know, you stayed faithful, committed to this person because they were family or whatever they were. But now I feel like you're just getting away from this person. You're getting in your chariot and you're getting away to your success, your victory, finally. And taking your passion here, king or queen of wands, doesn't matter. Your fiery passion action movement forward. Closing out that chapter, finally ending it so you can finally start your new chapter. Page of swords, so you're telling it like it is. Using that sword again to sever these ties. And uh, for good. Closing out a chapter, starting a new chapter, being in your fiery, passionate, go-getter, moving forward energy to your success, balance, victory here. No, you maybe you were faithful to this person because they were family or close friend or whatever, but this could also be you now finally being able to extend an offer out to a soulmate for commitment, marriage possibly even. Making, you know, lovers the right choices. Um... Again, soulmate union here with two people coming into soulmate union with the lovers and the two of cups. So different scenarios for uh, different people, but however it resonates for you. So besides uh, Pisces over there, we do have um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn with the world. We have uh, Leo, Sag, Aries. We have Cancer. We have Taurus. We have Virgo, Charles, Capricorn. We have Gemini. Let's see. We have, uh, let's see what we have here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Sagittarius, Libra. Cancer, Pisces. Um, let's see here. 
Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio. So those are the other signs I see. Basically all the signs are here anyway, but wow. Okay. So let's get some closing messages for you, Aries. So definitely ne need to sever ties to this person who keeps giving you these tower moments because they're just going to keep blocking you from moving forward. Whatever you're trying to move forward in, whether it's your career, relationship, just in life, this person is not going to stop. They're going to keep doing this over and over and over and over. And you're never going to get ahead. You're never going to move forward. You're never going to you know, get what you want in life because this person is constantly, constantly going to act out or do whatever they do to block you from your true destiny so and i think you intuitively know for a very long time it was the right thing to do but you just couldn't do it now it's like okay this is the final straw something might have happened here with that tower being like your main energy there that something like oh, that was it that was the last straw no more all right, so I do ask Aries, especially if you're new, if you like my style, how I read, my energy, please check out my channel. If you like what you see, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. Love to read the comments. If you subscribe, hit the bell, and you won't miss out on any readings. And if you do, thank you, thank you. So let's get some closing messages here for you, Aries. Prince of Winter. Decisive, focused, driven, impulsive, thoroughbred horse. Get ready for progress to speed up. The situation requires you to choose logic and intellect over emotion and make your decisions quickly. So I feel like this is something you have to act quickly on. Libra Gemini Aquarius energy here. The Prince of Winter, that is the Knight of Winter. He takes fast, quick action and just moves very quickly. So I think this is something you have to like take action now on. It's like like now, but be careful of your energy because sometimes that can be kind of like a reckless energy, rebel energy. So just be a little um, logical about your actions, but also take quick action. So some more energy, please, for Aries. The Hermit, nine here, fireflies, Virgo energy. Take time for contemplation to retreat and go within. Be a beacon for others on their path. To spiritual enlightenment so i mean it could have been a time here where you just didn't know what to do with this person it's like you thought about it you thought about it i don't know what to do here um maybe you put them in solitary confinement i don't know <laughs> the hermit and yeah i i don't know here but um i think you tried to try with this person and you you know you really really thought deep down and dug really deep and like i just don't know what to do but now now it's telling you to take action so all right so let's get one more let's get one more and then we'll do the bottom of the deck for aries justice wow coming in again and we have justice um where was justice right here so we have justice coming in again with libra energy here elephant fear decisions will be made after all the evidence is reviewed impartially have compassion for others and try to see all sides of a disagreement. So whether or not you had to get the legal system involved in this, I don't know if it was that severe. But again, this is doing what's right, doing what's moral and just and right for you in your situation. With the uh, justice card there. And we have another eight, 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 eight. So eight, so a lot of eights here. Well, this is a go over the bottom of the deck. So let's see here. So we have release. Exactly. So I was meant to shuffle. Wow. I was meant to shuffle. I usually don't. Wow. So spirit, yeah. You need to release this person out of your life or you're never going to have peace. <laughs> you three major arcana right in a row here. Wow. Release. Peacock. It's time to release the past and move on to something new. This ending is the first step on the way to a happier future. And I do believe this is death. So a double, another double confirmation here with death. You need to release this person out of your life. You will never have peace. Wow. Okay, Aries. Uh, <laughs> however this resonates for you, leave me some comments. Let me know how this resonates. So best of luck to you, Aries. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, to always, always shine your light.